Hey, what's going on everyone? Uh, I'm still going to do a video here on my uh, backup I have on the house here. It's a generator backup. Um, it's not the end-all system, you know, it's not the best system in the world, but it does work. It does do what I need it to do. Um, for me, a backup, basically all I need is something to run my fridge, something to run my furnace, something to run my well, and maybe one, two lights. And not really a lot of power. I, I really don't need a lot for it. A 3500 watt generator is all I use and it's more than enough um, for the load that I'm running. Um, as you can see here, it's my circuit box. And this switch here is what you install along with a 30 amp breaker, a double breaker there. And what this switch does is when you want to kill the, uh, you have to kill the main to go use this sit, uh, setup. Uh, so what you do is you would kill your main after your power goes out. You would hook your generator up, turn your generator on. You would plug the generator in to a box that's in the garage, which I'm going to show you. And then you will flip on your main, your flip on the backup. And then these ones here that have white on it are the circuits that I'm going to turn on that I need to use to run what I want to run. Okay, and let's go into garage here real quick and I'll show you what that box looks like. Um, I always keep a flashlight hanging right there um, just in case the power goes out. I could feel my way down here. I could then I have a flashlight that I could set this all up with. So give me a minute and uh, we'll go out into the garage, okay? Okay. Sorry, I gotta use a flashlight. It's a little dark in my garage. Uh, it's not the best lit area of the house. Um, but here's the box. I'm gonna try not to have the light shine on it and blind us all here. Um, that's hooked into that 30 amp breaker there at the top. Um, if you see, there's a it's an outlet to plug a plug into. Um, we go over here to the generator. You see, there's a big uh, cord on my generator there. It's 30 foot, so I could take it outside and put it up on the porch if for long periods of time if I need to. And there's my generator, like I said, a little 3500 watt Troy belt. Um, I do keep extra oil and uh, spark plugs and everything for it. And I do know how to do an oil change and maintain it myself. But as I said, you start the generator. You plug the generator into that box over there. And then you come in here. The, and before, you got to turn your main off before you do any of this. This will slide up. Let me turn this flashlight off here. You slide this up and it'll open up the standby so you can flip the standby over and then you flip the circuit you went on and that is it that, that's all it is um, but what you're gonna have to do though is turn off the rest of these I should mention that turn off everything and then turn on the ones you want um, you can see I have them marked there I'm not gonna really go into detail what they are um, but that's about it I just want to show the system to you real quick um, it's nothing to it this cost about seven hundred dollars to do generator and all and me and my father-in-law did it ourselves, all the work. Um, he's an electrician, so I know electrical myself, so it wasn't nothing for us to set this up and do it. So um, it's just something maybe you could think about, uh, maybe somebody on a budget who doesn't have a lot of money and wants something that will at least keep their family warm and their food cold. It's just something to think about. And uh, thanks, guys. Thanks, everybody, uh, posting comments and uh, subscribing. And uh, have a good one, and we'll talk to you later.